Good evening, folks. So I had some people that were asking me to give a better review or a more in-depth review of the uh, Berna HD, um, which is uh, this guy right here. All right, so I'm going to run through with you how it uh, functions, how to load and clear it, and uh, what comes with it, etc., so forth. This is the second best selling um, launcher on Texas Less, Less Lethal's website. So let's uh, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is get the CO2 into it. All right. It comes with, and I'll show you the case in a minute, comes with an 8-ounce CO2. It comes with two 8-ounce CO2s. There's a cap right here that you unscrew. Sorry. I was doing some testing on pepper balls today, and uh, part of that entails that I get popped with pepper balls. And I did, and I'm still recovering from that, and those videos will be upcoming. But I digress. So here we go. Berna HD. All right. Insert the CO2 thusly. All right. Then the cap just screws on right here. Okay, and then the magazine has a tool on the back there that you use to tighten this down. What you do is just turn it until it's till it bottoms out, all right? And you just turn it about a quarter turn more. That's it. You don't need to crank down and get crazy with it. All right. That is now ready with the CO2. Safety is on. Now for the magazine. Where did I put the other magazine? I guess I put it over there. But comes with a five round magazine. This one already has kinetic balls in it. And when it's fully loaded, you get the little orange dot there. Comes with colored base plates so that you can differentiate between pepper or kinetic or whatever it is you load with. Paintballs, whatever it is you load with. Um, these are interchangeable as well. They can be changed out to so that you can have both mags black or one red and black. or, or I'm sorry, orange, one black, whatever you want to do something to caution you about this is one of the things about the burner that is less than desirable if you bump this lever right here while you're inserting it into the into the launcher or if you're holding it in a, ma in a mag pouch okay i'm going to just push down on that that releases uh, i hate to do this that releases the balls anyway. I'm not going to do it because they're going to spray everywhere if I do. But if you push down on that, and it's not hard to do, it will release all the balls or pepper balls. Whatever you've got in the magazine will be released, and it'll spring all over the place if, you don't, if you're not you know, covering it or whatever. Another thing you want to be careful with these um, is when you are inserting it the first time, don't slam it into the weapon okay don't slam it into the launcher the pepper balls and these are kinetic rounds here i've got the gray ones are burnas uh factory ones the black ones are a different manufacturer that makes them for me that i'm, I'm testing um but if you jam it up in there you could fracture the uh pepper ball we don't want to do that we want the pepper ball to remain intact until we're until we fire it um, also, when you eject them from this mag magazine, if you're clearing the magazine for some reason, be aware that you could also um, break one of those open. Be very, very gentle with those pepper balls or you will wish you had been. Trust me on this. All right. And that goes for any launcher. That's not Berna specific. So, air. It inserts into the launcher just like just like a handgun would, a semi-automatic handgun. Once it's loaded, this little loaded 
chamber indicator pops up. Now, if you remove the magazine, okay, there's still one round in the chamber. And the way you get that out is you hold your hand under the magwell and you depress the loaded chamber indicator. Okay, that allows the, the ball that's in there, whatever it may be, to fall free. And then to load the magazine is really simple. You just put the ball up there and push it down until the spring-loaded lever is in place. Once again, insert the magazine. Magazine release is on this side, and it is a drop-free magazine. Now, you can carry it in this condition for as long as you want. It's, 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 the CO2 has not been pierced yet, but all it takes to pierce the CO2 is a pull of the trigger. You pull the trigger, that's going to arm the CO2, then you switch the safety off and it is ready to discharge the uh, pepper balls or kinetic rounds, whatever it is that, that you have it loaded with. You can also, if you didn't say you didn't have an opportunity, there wasn't enough time to, to just pierce the, the CO2, that you needed to get this thing into action immediately. You can depress the safety and pull the trigger, but the first round that's fired will be at a reduced velocity. I don't know what that reduced velocity is. I have not tested that yet, okay? But uh, I think that we are going to test that here in just a minute for the first time. We're going to uh, we're going to give that a try. So I've got a target set up off camera here. I have my this is the chronometer that I use chronograph I use to tune because it's it's in uh, metrics and it gives me tenths of a meter so that I find that useful when tuning. Whereas a regular meter will give you feet per second to the nearest number. This one goes down to tenths. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kick the safety off. Uh, Berna advertises these as running 300 feet per second. Um, I'm at sea level, and the ambient temperature here is 68 degrees, so I imagine we'll get a little less than that. I do tune these. Uh, Berna wants you to get three or four mags out of uh, one CO2 cylinder. I figure if you go through two mags, you've you've gone all you're going to go. Okay, so I do tune these um, so that you'll only get two mags, but you will get more velocity that way. You may get two and a half mags at full velocity. It, it, it varies with the weather conditions, your altitude, etc., so forth. But let's let me get this first round fired off and let's see what we get. Okay, and again, I'm going to fire the first one without piercing the CO2. And here we go. First round off, safety is back on. Let's see what we had. Uh, above and beyond the fact that we had a ricochet. Watch out for the ricochet. Okay, so it's showing, if you can see that, 52, 52, zero. So that's only like 160 feet per second. All right. Um, remember, that was the first round, and it was not um, the the CO2 was not. Let me check my target here. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna go for the go for the next round. Let me set my, my range back up here. <laughs> there we go. All right, now that was. The reduced velocity, remember, uh, Berna, Berna warns you that that first shot will be at a reduced velocity if you have not yet pierced the CO2. So now let's see what the difference is between that and uh, 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 around, um, hold on, I've got to clear the chrono. All right, cross clear. All right, let's see what it does now with the, the CO2 already pierced. All right, safety is off. Let me align it here. I don't get, shoot myself in the hand or something stupid. 
Okay, and here we go. Safety on. And let's see what we got. Okay, there's our first one. Second one was 72.7. So uh, it's so uh, 3.2 times 73. That's 233 feet per second, which is um, more or less what I'm seeing out of the Bernas. Uh, I typically, they're typically around 235, 240. Uh, when I turn them up, they are more around 280 uh, or thereabouts where I'm at. Okay. Now, that's one round. So let's go and uh, finish out the magazine. We got uh, three rounds left and let's see what we get for velocities. Let me get my target set back up here and range is hot here we go line up this barrel and now the first two rounds were these balls that I have the black balls that are loaded for me or, or manufactured for me the next are Berna's factory rounds Target back opened up. It keeps closing. It's a box that I'm using. So, all right, that was number three. Here goes number four. And I can get this box to stay in place. One more time. Here we go. Okay y'all can see that but 76 um, make sure we're clear it also has a, a little orange follower to help you determine when you're clear loaded chamber indicator is clear safety's on and uh, it's gonna set it set it aside here for right now so uh, let me go back to the chrono Yeah, so it stays around the 76, 77, right in there. Um, let's get this chronograph to shut off. There we go. Um, so that's not, uh, it's not too bad. Um, it's not exactly what we want to see either. Uh, I wish Berna would tune these a little closer to what they advertise. But again, also we'll have to take into account where are they, what altitude, what temperatures, you know, these sort of things. Now, once that CO2 is, is uh, pierced, you have a, a few days to discharge it. Now, don't recommend carrying it around that way because you're, you're over time losing CO2 um, and, and, you're just going to get, uh, when time comes to use it, you're going to have empty CO2 and it's not going to function. So, good time to practice. I also recommend that you, um, once a week or every other week, uh, take some of those kinetic rounds, sit down, and, and practice with them. Practice with them. The key to any platform that you use for defense is developing muscle memory on how it works loading unloading firing you know remember you're going to be discharging this or not discharging your first pull of the trigger is just to prime the um, CO2 pierce the CO2 so you've got to remember that uh, after that your you've got to kick the safety off and start and start uh, pulling on that trigger to get your rounds out there um 
Now, what comes in the kit? Of course, you get your CO2 cylinders, these 8-ounce CO2 cylinders. And uh, I don't have any of those in stock right now, but I will have in the very... Oh, wait a minute. I take that back. I do have two of those in stock right now. If anybody wants to, to order, I'll put those on the, the website for you. I do have two two 10 cylinder boxes in stock. Now what it, what you get in there is you get nine regular CO2s. All right. And then one of them is is CO2 but it's also filled with oil to help oil oil the uh, the internals of the launcher. You get um, five rounds of the gray burner kinetics that come in this in this kit. So two CO2s, a cylinder of the kinetics, a five rounds of Berna inert, and let's see if I can get this open. These things are a pain to open. I cannot. But they are, if you can see inside there, they're colored green and white. So these things are color coded to help you out. Now, word on color coding. Not all manufacturers use the same color coding. So these are green and white. And if these came from another manufacturer, these might be OC. Okay, so make sure you know what you're getting when you're getting it from whatever manufacturer. Um, and then uh, these are the Burna Max, which are supposed to be some of the strongest, some of the strongest um, irritants that you can get. And these are blue and green. I don't know if you can see them in there again, but they're blue and green. Blue and green. Um, the pepper rounds that I was testing today are some that I've had custom made for me. Uh, I'm not ready to market them yet, but they are <laughs> they're pretty potent. Um, and what we do is um, I have a volunteer that assists me, and uh, he gets popped with pepper rounds. And I get popped with pepper rounds. And then we compare notes to see what we felt was, you know, were, were these better or worse than the last ones that we used? And uh, thus far, the ones that, that I had custom loaded for me today, which are 95% irritants and uh, red dye, um, along with, of course, the powder dispersant, uh, those those are pretty potent. I will tell you that... that they are nothing like anything else that we've, we've experimented with yet. Um, we included red dye in those to mark your target, but we're getting off topic here. So let's go back to the Berna HD Max. Comes in this nice little carry case. And of course, there we have your instruction manual, warranty card, etc. so forth is up here. And then down there in the bottom, you get your launcher and uh, two mags. One comes in the in the launcher. One is in the box. Your projectiles and CO2, as, as I described earlier. Um, the launchers come in different colors. Currently, currently I'm only stocking black. Um, I had some gray, but I uh, those went fast. Uh, the black are going pretty quick. I think I have five left. Um, they are difficult to get, uh, and there is a waiting period if you order from the manufacturer, but as a dealer, you know, we get them a little quicker. Um, what else could I tell you about the Berna HD Max? I mean, there, there's all kinds of accessories coming available for them. Um, it's, it's a, it's a nice compact launcher. Okay. It is about the size of a Glock 19 or other similar sized handgun. They are not difficult to conceal. And you can see this is cleared by the chamber indicator and the magwell. Um, they are not difficult to conceal if that's what you want to carry around for concealed carry. Is it perfect? No, it is not. Um, there are um, better choices if you don't need concealability. But as a, as a general purpose, overall uh, launcher to carry for, for personal defense, you could do a lot worse than the Burner HD.
I find it to be very effective and useful and I highly recommend it. In fact, I'll give you the highest recommendation I can. I carry it. There you have it. Guys, be safe and thanks for looking at uh, this review of the Berna HD. I will get you some videos of the Berna dispensing pepper uh, of different sorts uh, very, very shortly in the near future. Be safe and have a great day.